Britain is a step closer to legalizing a controversial new form of in vitro fertilization. The science would use DNA from three different people to create a single baby. Scientists want to use the new IVF technique to battle mitro mitochondrial disorders affecting about 1 in 6,500 babies in this country. The incurable diseases cause heart and liver failure, blindness and respiratory problems and muscles to waste away. The idea is to bypass the mother's defective mitochondria but continue to use her genetic material. The UK would be the first country to take this landmark step. I spoke to the country's chief medical officer, Dame Sally Davies. She explained why she takes issue with the term three-parent baby. I wouldn't call it three-parent technology. Mm -hmm. This is about allowing families where they have disastrously ill, tragically ill children that die early in childhood or before their 20th birthday mm -hmm. of organ failure, muscle, heart, brain failure, the opportunity to have their own children but that are healthy. And what we're talking about is a woman with healthy eggs donating from that egg mm -hmm. healthy mitochondria. Mitochondria are tiny little organelles in the cytoplasm of a cell. So a cell has two big parts. The nucleus, which has our chromosomes, half from each parent, that make us what we are, mm -hmm. that give me my coloured hair, my outgoing personality. And that won't be affected. That is not being touched. Right. We, our law does not allow the nucleus to be touched. But it does, from 2008, allow us to lay regulations to allow mitochondrial transfer or donation. And mitochondria have 37 genes and they code for proteins that make energy. Nothing else. No characteristics. So this isn't a designer baby? As oh, some people have no way. It, where you select certain aspects of no. the baby before it's born? No. No. It is the parent's yeah. child with their characteristics as shared, but a healthy power pack or battery. Right. But we don't know down the line, we don't know in several decades as this child grows up what some of the medical issues might be. I mean, that is true, right? We'll only know that as the child develops. The animal models suggest it is safe. Mm -hmm. But think back to when the first IVF was done in this country, Louise Brown. Right. And we were in the same position. We believed the science was safe, but one mother said, I will take that risk because I want this so much and I think it's all right. This is the same. Okay. Now, and I'm no medical expert, but I've been researching this, of course. And some doctors are saying, and these are medical professionals, not just ordinary people with opinions. There is a greater risk of developing cancer for this child later down the line. Uh, this child would need lifelong monitoring once it is developed in the uterus using the DNA of three individuals. So there's, there are risks. There's no reason why they should be more prone to cancer. Mm. This is about energy. It's not about cancer genes. They're in the nucleus. Mm -hmm. And as for monitoring, I hope they will offer to be monitored so we can learn from this. But it's not because we think anything will go wrong. Now, what about the timeline? This is a technology that exists already, right? I mean, this is something that could happen in a lab very soon. In it is UK. being done yeah. in primates and in animals, but unless the House of Lords votes for this as well, so today the House of Commons have voted for it with a majority of over 250. Within a few weeks, the House of Lords will vote. Then it becomes law. Then the regulator, the Human Fertilization Embryology Authority, can start to move forward very slowly. Are the final experiments in place? Is there a laboratory and clinic that apply for registration? And then they will look at every single patient on that patient's merit. Do you have no concern here on the eve of, of, of having humans go I through this very soon? And if you do, what is that concern? I am very excited for the families that are wanting to have children with healthy mitochondria. But we must monitor the children as we go forward. And there you have it, Dame Sally Davies, the chief medical officer here in Britain, joining me about the UK Parliament approving uh, that controversial three-parent baby method, IVF uh, method there, though she doesn't like to use that term. All right, we have a new detail to report on the death of the Argentinian prosecutor.